Aloha! Today, welcome to another exciting episode of Physics 251. Today we get to play with the basketballs and we're going to be using the same uh, hardware and software that we used last week. We're going to use the motion sensors and we're going to use these motion sensors to uh, measure the acceleration due to gravity on the basketball. Now theoretically, when air resistance is uh, negligible, the acceleration due to gravity is a 9.8. Um, air resistance should be pretty negligible on the basketball because it's, uh, it's moving at a slow speed. Um, so we're going to, you guys are going to hold the basketball here. Someone will hit the record button. This guy will start clicking and then you can drop this guy. And then the, the tricky part is you want to get three good bounces where it stays under the detector. Uh, that may be a little hard to do because the floor is not so perfect in here, but you can move it around. We just did it, so you can do it with a little practice. Um, and so we're going to measure acceleration due to gravity, and we're also going to learn uh, or reinforce some of the things that we already know about position, velocity, and acceleration. So let me, I need a meter stick. I was going to ask you guys a few questions. <clears throat> okay, so with this, um, with this setup, we're going to look at both, uh, I should write this up here. Well, let me just do this. So remember, velocity is the time rate of change of the acceleration. Okay, Acceleration is the time rate of change of the velocity. And we, we remember from, uh, we were messing around last week, that if you have a graph of position versus, versus time, then the velocity is represented by the slope. Okay, so... I don't want to give it all away, so I'll give, I'll give you the question now. Question, if acceleration is constant, what should the velocity first time graph look like? Okay, it's an awesome question, um, and we're going, to actually, we're going to actually look at the velocity versus time graph today. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll come, I'll, I'll pause the video now, and then we'll talk about this, and we'll come back. You don't have to do that. Hello, we're back. <laughs> Hello, we're back. <laughs> okay, question two. Given a velocity versus time graph, how would one use the graph to measure acceleration? So we just went over question one. So we, 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 we know what the velocity graph should look like. Now, given that graph, how would we go about measuring acceleration? Um, we'll take a close look at these uh, questions uh, in class as we watch the video. And uh, the good news also is, since you guys are familiar with this equipment, um, I don't have to say much. I won't talk much. I won't say much more. I will have to show you where a few of the buttons are located on here. Um, have, a, have a good time, and uh, we'll see you next week.